In York County tonight, and Seema, how's the legal system going to handle this return to action here? Actually, Brian, I'm saying goodbye to my jurors. They just walked out. I've made a bunch of new friends here. And listen, it took the wheels of justice a moment to get back to rolling, but they finally have. Check it out. Jury trials are back in the Palmetto State with all the COVID restrictions in place. You're required to get your temperature taken uh, and also to wear a mask. The York County clerk says from temperature checks at the entrance to a socially distant jury box, plexiglass dividers and hand sanitizer galore, they are ready to try trials again. We tried in November and failed twice. One was civil, one was criminal. The jurors are going to be in every other seat as well. Moments before opening statements in the criminal trial, a juror discovered her daughter had COVID. The court instructed the juror to rush out for a rapid test. She was positive, so we had to, you know, she pretty much tainted the entire group. And once again, trials stopped. Did it worsen the court's backlog? Everybody I talked to asks about our backlog. Oh, y'all must be very backlogged, etc. cetera. Uh, and, and I guess we would, except for the fact that uh, only about one and a half percent of the of cases actually go to trial. Mr. Hamilton says it helped lawyers lessen their gamesmanship. Some of them actually said that they are more productive with with the pandemic because they can cut to the chase. For criminal defendants, it's a struggle between their constitutional rights. It's very important. It's always been important. I've been the clerk for 24 years. I'm in my 25th year. And it's always been important to have the speedy trial. And freedom. If I'm sitting there on the fence, then I, from me personally, I'm sitting down there in a Petri dish of, <laughs> because we had 25% of the, 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 the folks that were positive down there. I'd be looking at maybe pleading and getting out. Now, Brian and Lindsay, this trial is expected to only last a few days, and that's on purpose because this is a new procedure and they want to minimize any potential exposure to the jurors, to the witnesses, and of course, the court staff. Brian, Lindsay? Yeah, you know, Simi, you got to keep people safe, of course, still going forward. But with all this uh, downtime, how is the state going to tackle that backlog? How many are waiting? And also, will justice be served if there's seemingly a, a rush to, just to get through them all? All very good points. But Brian, you have to realize that this courthouse is not necessarily representative of all the Carolinas. This courthouse doesn't seem to have a lot of backlog, but other counties certainly do from my research. And also, Brian, this is a national issue. So I think what they're trying to do is just be super efficient while they're trying to fill in the, uh, the cases with those who have been incarcerated the longest.